I'm Tim Queso and I'm building my bankroll to $100,000 so I can quit my job as a roofer and play poker full time. Nick's trying to do an intro, so I'm just gonna rip mine right now. Um, this is episode four. This is episode four. This is episode four. And what's going on is I'm on a 24th floor. As you can see, here's the city. But uh, here's what's happening. It's episode four. I'll put the bankroll right here. It's gonna be right here. I think it's like 9,700 something. So. We haven't really made any progress uh, in this is vlog four, but that's about to change because we're going to Vegas. And you know what they say, when you go to Vegas, you, you never lose. So we're bound to hit at least 15K, guarantee it. But seriously, we are gonna be playing on Poker Night America. That's on Sunday. Uh, what else, what else, what else? This is the first take. This is actually really, really good, not yeah. gonna lie. I, I'm not gonna uh, lie either, you're one of the best to do it. Yeah, that's it. I'll yeah, see you no guys way, in Vegas. No way he loses. I'll, I'll see you guys in Vegas. Let's go. Get the heck out of here. Five bucks. Correct. It's all gonna be mine. Trash. Check. Six. Call it. Call it. Is that all? Room. This is obviously the view that I hooked us up with. <laughs> Let me show you. It's probably a horrible angle. The plan is to, I don't know, where are we going? What did you say? Uh, Planet 13. Planet 13. Is that a real place or are you messing with me? We're going to go play some poker and some blackjack. I'll report to you guys after. Renegade and Savage. Good nigga with a few bad habits. Get away, no Back and forth, hit a wall and all. Bump my head, need a Tylenol. I blame myself when the team fall. But even Kobe need a Pongasol. I got the way to the world. Yeah, it's still I can pick. This is the update. I'm tired. I need to wake up and start recording something. Nick apparently, this is like his like second home. But we can't even record here. We're at the MGM. So we're gonna go find somewhere else to record to get you guys some content tonight. Day one, night one. Stick with me. I've been up for 23 hours. We've made it to Resorts World. We're about to play some poker. And that's all I can think to say right now. So shut your mouth and let's get into the hands. Let's go. All right, here we go. We buy into this 2-5 game here at Resorts World for the max, which is $1,000. And in the first hand of note, we look down at Ace-10 suited in the Diamonds variety. We are in the plus one, and I open it up to 30 bucks. It falls all the way to the blinds, and they both call. And of course, on tilt, Nick is in the big blind. So even in Vegas, we're at the same table trying to break each other, and let's just say one of us does get broke, and it's not me. So we're three ways to a flop. It comes 3-8-8, two spades. So we completely whip this flop, but when both blinds check, I think we can steal this little pot. So I bet off for 35 bucks and only Nick calls in the big blind. We're heads up to a turn. It comes the nine of hearts. It's not the best turn in the world, but also not the worst. I mean, it's Nick. We're heads up and we have ace high. That's probably the nuts. So when Nick decides to donk bet for 125 bucks, which makes a ton of sense, I decide to stick in the call. Heads up to a river, it's the deuce of diamonds, so essentially a brick, which means if Nick blasts off, I'm probably going to have to just stick in the call, but he turns into a scared little puppy and checks. I check it back, and he shows Jack Queen offsuit. Nice hand, brother. You really played that one to perfection. Anyways, we're taking on the first pot here in Vegas. Let's go. 
All right, so we've lost pretty much every small pot for the last hour. So our stack has dwindled down to 750 bucks until this hand happens. We're in the small blind with 9-7 suited. There's a limp from the cutoff that folds to me. I limp as well. And of course, you won't believe who is now seated on my left and decides to raise. Just take a wild, wild guess. Really think on it. Obviously, it's on tilt, Nick. He bumps it up to 25 bucks. The cutoff calls, and I call as well. Three ways to a flop. Once again, it comes king, jack, 10, one spade. So we flop ourselves a double gutter with the backdoor flush draw. And when I check, Nick continues for 25 bucks. The cutoff folds, and I call. So we're heads up to a turn. It comes the deuce of hearts, and nothing really changes. So when I check, Nick continues. He bets again, this time for 80 bucks, and I call call we're off to a river it's the gym river it's the eight of diamonds so we hit the gym card on the river and i feel like nick's gonna check back a lot on this river which now that i'm actually saying that um i think i might be wrong but in the moment that's what i thought so i bet off for a hundred bucks hoping it'll look like i want to get to a cheap showdown and he'll decide to raise but sadly he does not but he does call we show the straight and obviously we're good so two for two against nick you love to see it in this next one, we look down at ace queen offsuit in the hijack. There's a limp from middle position. It folds to me, and I raise to 25 bucks. And you guys are not going to believe this, but uh, Nick three bets me in the cutoff to 60 bucks. So I guess we flew all the way to Vegas to play heads up. When action folds back to me, I think he's three betting me pretty light here. And all the pros say ace queen is a good candidate to four bet. So let's try that out. I four bet to 200 bucks, and Nick calls. We're off to a horrendous flop. It comes three, four, six, rainbow. Neither of us should really have connected with this board. But since I four bet pre flop, I can have jacks through aces. So let's stick with that story. I put out a bet for 150 bucks, and Nick calls which is not good but uh it doesn't matter what the turn comes i'm probably just gonna jam and stick with the story i'm trying to tell so when the turn comes the 10 of spades it shouldn't have changed much i'm going for it i jam for 575 bucks and after thinking for about 10 seconds nick sticks in the call Psych, Nick's my son at the poker table. Don't you ever forget that. He folds. We show the bluff and take down another pot. We're three for three versus Nick in Vegas. Shut your mouth. Stick to the $100 nightly tournaments. On to the next hand. In this next one, we look down at the Cowboys in Vegas. Get it? Because I'm from Dallas, so never mind. We are on the button, though, and there's a raise from the hijacks at 20 bucks. It folds to me, and I three bet to 75 bucks. Could probably go a bit larger being out of position, but this is Vegas, not Dallas, which means there's a lot more nits. Not saying this guy is, but... Just saying. Anyways, the hijack call, so we're heads up to a flop. It comes four, seven, eight, all hearts. Super wet board, but we do have the king of hearts in our hand. So when the hijack checks, I decide to size up and charge him if he's holding that ace of hearts in his hand. I bet 100 bucks, and he calls. We're off to a turn. See five of clubs. The hijack checks again, and I think we have the best hand, and it feels like this guy might just have the ace of hearts. or hand like nines or tens. So I think a polarizing bet makes sense on this turn. I bet off for 350 bucks, and after thinking for a little bit, he decides to fold so we take down another decent sized pot which brings us to the biggest hand of the session and the last hand of the session here we go all right in this last hand of the session we look down at the dreaded pocket jacks you're either going to win a lot or you're going to lose everything and let's just say one of those two happens in this hand we're in the plus one the other gun player opens at 20 bucks and something to make note of is this guy just lost a really big pot and he stated he's only playing three more hands he has his chips in his racks and let's just say he has some tilt stirring up inside of him. So it appears. So keep that in mind. Uh, when he raises, I three bet two at 75 bucks. Folds all the way to the big blind player who cold calls. So he just has a pocket pair for sure. And the other gun player calls as well. So we're three ways to a flop. It comes three, six, five, all hearts. Yak. Action checks to me, and I actually think we should be doing a lot of checking here. But in the moment, I felt like it might be a good idea to charge anyone holding a single heart. So I decided to bet 100 bucks. The big blind folds, and now the under-the-gun player decides to raise to $300. And here's where I lose my mind. In my head, I was thinking this guy's tilted, so he just wants to win. He just lost all that money. He probably just wants to make that back. He probably just has a hand like H Jack with Ace of Hearts. All these things are going through my head. That's what I was thinking. So what do I do? I say, you know what? Let's give this guy some Sam Queso money because obviously he's trying to bluff me even though he hasn't shown a bluff to me all night. So I jam for 1100 bucks and he snap calls. So we're dead. He flips over 9-8 of Hearts and of course the board runs out 4 of Clubs, a 5 of Diamonds. Completely safe for him. So we get scooped our first night in Vegas which feels great. Hot start to the trip. Man, that was just a great session. This this challenge is going really, really well, actually. What happened was I played the last hand horribly because I thought he was on tilt because he had lost a hand right before. So I'm thinking he just has an ace of hearts. He wants to take it down, but that's kind of stupid because even if he has like ace queen, the ace of hearts, 
He might even be ahead, according to Nick. Nick's right here just trolling me. Um, no, he actually is ahead. He is ahead. He is ahead. It's a 2 4 roll, so yeah. He's ahead. Anyways, I played that horrendously. Um, I, you know what? I'm just going to contribute it to having no sleep. So, what this means is you guys need to get good rest before you go. And, and don't quit your day job. And don't quit your day job. Don't you but then again, you know, if you can get your bankroll to 100K, just. Why not, right? Well, you uh, right now, though, the bankroll is at 8,700 like and some change. Um, yeah, 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 well, they're booked. Right, We're going to see what uh, early departure looks like, see if we can't catch one tomorrow and study your charts. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.